Hello guys, welcome to our channel Falak Sumro. In the previous video of Bootstrap 5, I discussed about the introduction to Bootstrap 5 and told about the top 10 advantages of using Bootstrap. In this video, I am showing you how to download the Bootstrap or uh, use the CDN of Bootstrap 5 now let's get started for using the bootstrap we have to log in the getbootstrap.com website from here we can download the bootstrap or can use the cdn for bootstrap i will use the bootstrap version of 5.1.3 in the series now you can see here the options of downloading these things downloading of bootstrap now we will click on the head to download page now you can see here the download bootstrap to get the compiled css and javascript source code or include it with your favorite package managers like npm ruby gems and more now this is the compiled css and javascript file now we will click on this download button now we will click on the start download button it has been downloaded in our computer now i will cut this downloaded file and will paste it in a separate folder in my hard drive i will make a separate folder of and will paste it here now i will extract this downloaded file now you can see that it has been extracted now as i inserted in the folder you can see here there are two folders available one is css and one is js folder in the css which is cascading style sheet file there are so many files available in this folder we will use this bootstrap.min.css which is minified version of our css file now let's see that how to use the bootstrap we will open our visual studio code for our programming our vs code has opened now i will open the targeted folder which i created some moments ago in my e drive which was bootstrap practice bootstrap 5 tutorial uh, practice mm, i think i made it in the d drive this is bootstrap 5 practice folder now i will look at this folder for practicing our bootstrap now you can see here this is our folder here i will create a file of index.html i have created this file now i will write down the predefined html to create the necessary now i am trying to print out heading one in this file welcome to bootstrap now i will save it and see the result of this file now this is our required folder where we have saved this file now i will double click on this file to check it now you can see this is our simple html file this is without bootstrap connection now i will connect the bootstrap with this file now you can see and you already know that we always connect our external css file in the head section now we will type the link relation style sheet file now i will target the folder before targeting this folder i have to make some changes in our bootstrap files now these two files two folders should be located in the main directory now this is css folder and javascript folder which is present in our bootstrap 5 practice folder now i will target this 
CSS file in the CSS folder now you can see here the CSS folder has appeared I will press the slash and after that all the located files are here you can see now I will target my bootstrap dot min dot css this is the file which i want to look at it i will click on this file and will save it now we'll check the result now you can see here the difference between the previous and the current result now further if i want to see the container option which is the class of our container mm -hmm. I will use it the div class equal to container now I will place this heading in our container now you can see the result would be different now this is the container by using this container class we will be able to set our content in between the some spaces you can see here the space and here also by this way we can connect our downloaded css file in our html page now we will see how to use the CDN. If CDN via JS deliver, skip the download with JS deliver to deliver cached version of bootstrap compiled CSS and JS to your project. Now I will remove this linked CSS file and will use the CDN this is the cdn i will copy this cdn and will paste this code in our head section now i will save it and refresh this page now you can see the result is same if i delete this file which is CDN and I will not be able to use the bootstrap in my HTML file now we will see that what is the difference between downloading our bootstrap file and using the CDN for using the CDN you will have the internet available if you don't have the internet facility then you have to download and use this file properly and you can practice more without any internet connection if you are offline you can also practice on the bootstrap so this was just introduction of uh, how to download and use the bootstrap and how to use the cdn in our html files so we will meet in our next video see you